Good morning from Castaway Key. And it's cloudy. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's nice though. It's not cold, but it is cloudy. We've made it to Castaway Key. It is Thursday, the 27th. 27th of January today. And um, we are going to be exploring Castaway Key. I cannot wait. She is beautiful. We are docked. We have joined the virtual queue to be able to get off the ship. Uh, we're going to get some food because I'm quite hungry. And uh, we're not going to run the 5k are we? We've decided neither of us have got the energy for running. But we have got proper shoes on. And we're going to walk it. We're going to be a run walk. We're going to be, yeah, we're just going to kind of try and walk it because we want the medal. And guest services said you can still get the medal um, if you do it. So that's what we're going to do as soon as we get off the ship. Let's go. Let's go. We're off to Cabanas just to get a quick breakfast, I think. And then we're going to head straight onto the island as soon as we can. <laughs> We've still got 44 people ahead of us in the queue, but yesterday I think we had <coughs> about the 20, same. We had, we had 26, but as soon as people started going ashore, it was very quick. So okay, breakfast for me today. I've got a cinnamon roll, I've got a croissant, and I've got some French toast, which looks yummy, which has got like some Danish, raspberry Danish, bacon, hash brown, and a sausage and egg and cheese sandwich. And we're sat outside, looking out over Castor Oh, we're on Castor <laughs> Right now. <laughs> Go get some towels. Oh, we're on Castaway Key. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Believe what? That we're on Castaway Key. Nah. Nah. There's a post office, I think. Yeah. Right, says post office. Post office. gotten off the tram at the first stop which I think is where like the shops and things are and our plan is to find somewhere to dump stuff so that we can then go and do the 5k walk slash run oh, I just can't believe how beautiful this place is sun's coming out we should have picked up the sun cream we're really gonna burn <laughs> saying last night that we were like can we not just do this every time we come to Florida like tack on a cruise at the end of every trip and I think we probably will <laughs> because it's a really nice after like the chaos of Walt Disney World this is just so nice isn't it yeah this whole cruise has just been amazing to just relax and rejuvenate and just do what we want and not have to rush about oh so there's Pelican Plunge yeah. there's Flippers and Floats so that's where we'll get our snorkel gear and stuff from bit later um, and this is Pelican Point Beach over here which is where we're gonna find a perch and so we did that. <laughs> I didn't even click to that <laughs> find somewhere to dump our gear and then go find the starting point for the 5k Rich you're walking on sand on Castle Ricky if <laughs> it's come from the bottom yeah we're touching the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean apparently that's where all this sand came from. We're off to find the runway because that's like the starting point for the 5k. And then we'll see how much of it we get done. I reckon we'll do most of it. 5k is not that bad, especially if we're only going to walk it. And it gives us a good 
way to explore the island, isn't it? Yeah. Here's the other shop. That's 5k start. Ah. Oh. Here we go. 5k start. <laughs> right. Let's go. It's very humid here, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's it's sticky. <laughs> but Sticky, but, but it's okay. It's still signed, which is good. Even though they're not officially doing it, there are still signposts. To be fair, we've probably walked about 30k just in the couple of days at Walt Disney World. More than. Way more. We'll be doing like half marathons every yeah, day. Yeah, we were. We were like walking 10 to 13 miles every day. So this should be a breeze. <laughs> in theory. <laughs> This path is never ending. We're over like, we're probably like three quarters of the way done, aren't we? Or yeah. two thirds of the way done with this, this 5K. We've got a mile to go. Got a mile to go. Mine says we've got, I think so I did, Rich paused his when we went off to the Outlook, so his is more accurate, I didn't. I just kept my running, so mine's gonna be just over 5K. We're wondering, if Vicky's murdered in the woods, would anybody hear her scream? Yes, they would. He says he's been plotting all the ways to uh, bump me off while we're here. He's like, well, you can spend the rest of your, you know, spend forever on Castaway Key. I'm like, yeah, dead. Doesn't sound like much fun to me. So if this footage is ever found, <laughs> it was Richard what done it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we're getting to the end of this bit now. I think this is like the longest stretch. It's boring down here. It is a little bit boring. There's not much to look at. Green. And it's very muggy down here, isn't yeah. it? Because we're quite enclosed. So it's a bit sticky. I said, is this the end? Looks it. Could this be the end? Do we turn around and walk back here? Let's just go have a look out over here. So yeah, this is where we turn. Let's have a look over here. Wow. Can't even see the ship from here. That's how far we've walked. How beautiful is that water? Let's go back. Nearly there, over. It's a mile to go. Mile to go, we've done two and a bit. 1,600 meters. Yeah, it's the last stretch. And then we have done the Castaway Key 5K, even though we walked it. I did say, I feel like we should run to the finish line. Like just suddenly as we come around the corner, just break into a little sprint. In your denim jeans. <laughs> so it looks like we've run the whole way. <laughs> you look like you've run the whole way anyway. I know, I am very sweaty. I'm, I just, it, yeah, I'm sticky and sweaty. With tan lines. And Yeah, my tan lines are appalling. But hey, who cares? I managed to get a tan in January. I can take that. I swear to God, my knees always know when I'm nearly at the end of something because they start hurting. Like, this one is the worst with the arthritis and it's just suddenly gone, I don't want to work anymore. And it's really hurting. It'll be fine, we'll just go chill in the sea after this. I won't need to worry too much. I swear it happens every time. It just suddenly starts aching out of nowhere. Oh, hey, we're on the last stretch now, so it's all good. So according to my Strava, I've already walked the 5K. I've done 5.3839. So it's almost going to be a 6K for me, I think. <laughs> but um, I didn't turn it off when we went a bit off off the track. So oh, I'm at 5K now. Yeah, we're at 5K. So it's, it's just over 5K, I think, the Castaway Key 5K. Finish. Done. Done. Sweaty, but done. That was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed that. So we are just on the tram. We're going to head back to the ship quickly to see if we can grab some medals before they all go. There's very limited stock in them apparently. And uh, then we're going to come back out and get in the water finally. <laughs> 
Captain Jack Sparrow. Hello there. Hi. But there's no rub. Yeah, we're going back this way, see if there is any. <laughs> We've got our medals, yay! There we go, Castaway Key 5K. That was awesome. But we're going to make our way back to uh, Pelican Point. Finally get in the water. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a hot minute <laughs> doing that walk, but yeah, still got all afternoon here, haven't we? So, still plenty of time to do everything that we want to do. Hi! <laughs> And we are back at Pelican Point, ready to, the sea. to get into the sea. It's um, been a bit rainy, isn't it? Yeah. So, hopefully the sea's warm. <laughs> if not, we might be back on the boat. Yeah. Like I said, we've got the getaway package, so we need to get, we've got like floats and yeah, we, snorkels. We were do the floats anyway, didn't we? That's yeah, the floats aren't really, we're not interested too much in doing the floats, but we want to do the bike and the snorkel. So we're probably going to get in the sea for a little bit and then see how we go. Go and get some lunch from Cookies two i think is it this one i don't know go and get the um something to eat and then uh, go for a bike ride and then go snorkeling and then our day will be are you ready for this i have a feeling I'm it's going to be cold hoping <laughs> the sea's going to be warmer than the air <laughs> it has suddenly gone quite chilly there's a lot of people already on about going back to the <laughs> yeah sea. yeah there's, there's quite a lot of people in the sea i've kept my rash guard on just because i'm scared it's going to be really cold <laughs> was that what a dry top for later <laughs> Don't push me. I'm not. I'm you are. Sure you don't no, you're, you're going to push me. Stop it. I'm holding on to it. Oh, oh that was cold. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm in, but it's freezing. Oh my God, I'm so cold. This is like getting in the sea at real, only it's prettier. <laughs> no, don't you dare. Don't you but dare. Stop worst. it. Like, Stop it. Leave me alone! <laughs> I hate you a lot. Stop! I would swear, but there's children around. <laughs> Look at the rain. Everyone's running off the beach. And everyone's like legging it, going, no, no rain! And we're like, this is what it's like every day in Wales. Come on! <laughs> okay, Doc. This one's worse. We can't snorkel at the moment because of the weather. Um, we can't basically do anything at the minute because of the weather, because of the visibility. Um, obviously, we don't want to go on the bikes in this weather. There's no point getting a floaty for this weather, so I don't quite know what we're going to do. Like everyone has just abandoned the beach. <laughs> Stuff left everywhere, everyone's just like, run for it! It does feel a lot warmer now than it did when we first tried to get in it. <laughs> Hi birdies! At least we can say we've been in the, Baham the sea in the Bahamas. Even if it is pissing it down with rain. It's lovely now. Is it though? Not cold. Is it lovely though? I don't really know. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's lovely. Yeah, look, nobody else left on the beach. Nobody else in the sea. There's a few people going on Pelican's Plunge, but apart from that. Oh, the Brits. Yeah, it's all the British. The British are out. Oh, thank you. I bet all those people with the uh, cabanas are doing quite smug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the cabanas people have probably got proper smug faces on. It literally is like, it was, it's like a run for your lives, Godzilla kind of moment. Or Jaws, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Clear the beach. Right, come on then, let's start making our way back. Because I want, the wrong I want some food. Incoming! We've made it to Cookies 2 to get some lunch because Hungry. Do, yeah, it's what, it's what you do. You come to Kiki's Sea. This is where everyone is hiding. Away from the rain. So I have got a hot dog, some chicken, which I didn't realise was like a proper kind of 
Drumstick. Drumstick, but and this salmon that looks amazing. Rich has got two cheeseburgers. No. Okay, a Four cheeseburger. And brisket. And oh, a brisket sandwich. And some corn on the cob. And then I also got a cookie. So what do you think of your meal at cookies? I love doing this when you got food in your mouth, it just makes me giggle. <laughs> My hot dog was fine, same kind of hot dog that you get on the ship, but the salmon, the honey bourbon salmon, salmon? Lemon. Salmon was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that. Rich? <laughs> Ribs good. Ribs good. Burger? Didn't like the no, you didn't like the brisket. Did you like Burgers the salmon? The salmon was lovely. Yeah. And the burger steak was on there. What about the chicken? Because you ate my chicken in the end. It's all right. It's all right. We're going to finish off here um, and probably head up to Serenity Bay just while our food goes down. The sun's trying to come out. Um, hopefully we'll get to snorkel, but we need to let this food go down a little bit before we go snorkeling, I think. And we have made it to Serenity Bay, which is the adults only area. Windy. It's very windy down here. <laughs> we literally just wanted to come down and have a look just to say that we've done it all. <laughs> it's beautiful. And that's Serenity Bay. <laughs> Awesome. I think we're going to head and do snorkeling now. Hopefully the lagoon is back open and uh, we can go snorkel. I think we might knock the bikes on the head today. Um, it's still quite windy. I'm not very confident on a bike anyway. And our shoes that we would wear to cycle in, because I don't like cycling in flip-flops at the best of times, are soaking wet. So <laughs> we will be uh, not biking today, I don't think. treading water going oh my god I'm really knackered already and then Rich was like just stand up I was like oh <laughs> In the future <laughs> from where we last left you so uh we were snorkeling on castaway key i think would have been the last thing you would have seen and then just before we found all the good stuff yeah my memory card got full just before we found like the nautilus the daisy figurehead mickey just typical and obviously i was in the middle of the sea it was quite a long way to swim back to shore to change the memory card and come back out but Oops, but we did see them and they were awesome. Um, and then once we'd finished snorkeling, we pretty much ran back to the ship and got straight in the hot tub because it was chilly. It was chilly, chilly, chilly. But now we have to pack, <laughs> which is sad. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go back to real life, but it's our last night. We need to pack up. Before we like properly pack, pack though, well, we have to wait a while. We need to pop back to the shop because there was one jumper that I meant to buy and I just didn't. And we need to go and look at shutters to see because we didn't get the photo package in the end, but we want to see if there's a photo maybe that we want to buy. Yeah, packing. We've got our luggage tags. We've only got three though. Uh, we need more than that. So we're going to have to try and find Melvin, our stateroom host, to get at least one more and then we'll take our wheelie bags with us to breakfast. But it's been a great day at Castaway Key despite the rain. Um, obviously we didn't do the bikes, we didn't do the floats, so we paid $46 each to snorkel. But to be fair, it was $36 just to snorkel anyway. Yeah, yeah, just to do the snorkeling was $36, so we only lost $10 each, so it's not a massive disaster, really. We do want to head back to the pool this evening before dinner. Um, we want to do the aqua dunk when it's like kind of gotten dark. Holiday nearly done. So we are getting ready to depart from Castaway Key. Sad times. We'll be back, won't we? 
Yeah. yeah, I think there's definitely going to be another couple of cruises that go to Castaway Key on our agenda. Hopefully. See if it had been like this all day. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it now. The sun is shining. It's really warm. Oh, taking the lines in. Bye, guys. Party time. <laughs> They're like, they didn't drink all the beer. It's time to party. <laughs> and we is off. They're so cute, they're all waving goodbye. <laughs> mm, sad. I kind of wish Castaway Key wasn't your last day. Yeah, like the day at sea. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, it's like... Straight just, down to Nassau. Yeah, you're just Castaway sailing away. Day at sea. Yeah, you thought, oh, you're sailing away and you know that that's it. It's the end of your holiday. <laughs> Horrible feeling. <laughs> It's been fun. I'm looking forward to coming back someday. So we are packed up. We managed to squeeze everything in. Oh, bags everywhere. And we've just got a few more things to pack up in the morning, which will go into our hand luggage cases, which we will take to breakfast. I shall shared. So I've got a cocktail. I'm still on the GoPro because I've got to bring my big camera upstairs. We've come up to the bar. Our favourite bar with our favourite bar team. Right by the pool. I got a purple rain. <laughs> and Rich has just got a standard beer, <laughs> as he does. <laughs> oh no, it's so cold! one final dip in the pool aren't we <laughs> there's no one else anywhere in the pool area apart from at the bar and even then there's only three ladies <laughs> yeah we're like the hardy folk who are like yeah we're gonna stay in the pool till the end <laughs> so beautiful at night so we've just come back to our room after spending some fair time in the bar and we've got a little monkey with a chocolate coin that's awesome but we've got like 10 minutes before dinner. Bad times. Do you want to go there and not pee? No, I don't care. You will do when you go to I won't, because this is life. <laughs> this is real life. This is a holiday. I film Richard Pees. Um, so yeah, we really need to get changed and ready for dinner. Rich ordered me another cocktail, which I really didn't need. <laughs> so I'm going to shark it? to, I'm going to shark to dinner half cut or did pretty much talk. I did. It was a really good margarita. But yeah, change for dinner, let's go. Right, very, very, very quick change. I don't know why today the alcohol is affecting me <laughs> more than normal, but I'm quite tiddly. Probably because of the tip we left. We we know, yeah, we, we um, our barman at um, Cove Co Cafe, Cove Co Co Bar, Co Bar. <laughs> awesome, and um, We've left them quite a lot of tips because they were amazing. Um, and I think they put more booze in the cocktails. <laughs> so I'm really quite tiddly. Poor, our poor servers at dinner aren't going to know what's hit them. Because <laughs> we've been quite reserved up until this point at dinner. And now I'm like, yeah! <laughs> we're going to have a nice chat with some ladies from. Boston, Boston in South Carolina. In South Carolina. We've had a great night. <laughs> Oops, eight. No, we don't want this one. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? I'm going to feel so rubbish tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> uh, right, let's look at some photos. We are so late for dinner. <laughs> what? It's only just quarter past. Is it? I love that our bar, for, our barman from Code Cafe just came up and was like, you should be at dinner! We're like, I know, it's your fault.
also our bread has arrived. It's like a country current bread. Yeah. Uh, and just like a normal white roll. So I'll just be having the normal white roll. Thank you very much. So our stars have arrived. Rich has got a lobster ravioli because he really wanted to try it. And I've just got the tomato soup because this is amazing. What did you get? The pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin. And then I'm a child. I went for mac and cheese <laughs> and fries. Maybe you made me a ketchup Mickey. <laughs> so how was your meal? Lovely. What did you say? It was the best one yet? Yeah. Which is that? Rich has gone for a lemon and raspberry mousse bomb. Which is not, that's not what I expected that no. to look like. And I've gone for a chocolate bread pudding, which is the kids dessert. Yeah! So we were right, that was not the lemon raspberry nope. mousse bomb. This is the lemon raspberry mousse bomb. How was your dessert? It was nice. Nice? Nice than yours. Mine was alright, it wasn't anything amazing. It was a bit... It was, I don't care if I'm off, I'm drunk. It was a bit doughy. But um, we're gonna... You need to go and get your beer mug. Yep, swap and my card. Swap your card for your beer mug. And then it's back to the room. Sleepy time. So Rich has got his glass. It's hefty. It's hefty. It's a hefty glass. We've given out our tip envelopes to everyone, um, and our chocolates that we bought for everyone. And now we head into Bedfordshire because it's time to go to bed. Tomorrow is going to be a long day because we're going to be in the airport for like at least six hours before we get on our plane. Normally, I don't film the travel day home, but we have checked our British Airways app and uh, we are on one of the new planes with the new business suite. So probably we'll actually film that just to show what the new business suites are like. Drawing to a close, our time on the Disney Dream. It's been amazing. You had a good time? Love it. It's been epic. Ah, uh, you mocked me for falling over a flat surface. There is not, that is a flat surface. I tripped over a few on the way out of dinner. <laughs> uh, and he mocked me. I am not enjoying this journey back to Port Canaveral. It's a bit up and down, isn't it? We've come back to the room. We well, could feel it at tea. Yeah, you could feel the movement at tea, but I think I still had my alcohol level was still quite high, so I didn't really, it didn't bother me. We've come back to the room, which obviously, because we were at the back of the midship, yeah. weren't we, for tea. We've come back to my our room, which is at the front of the boat. I've literally had my head in the toilet for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> and it's really frustrating me because he gets sick on flights of passage, but yet this has no effect on him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll endure this for this, for, to have the amazing experiences that we've had. But we are doing like twice the speed we've done at all. Yeah, we've not done over about 15 knots the nope. whole journey, like the whole cruise, and now we're going at like 21, and it's very rough. You just have to go and look outside at the, oh God. <laughs> You just have to go look outside at the wake and it's... Oh, you can hear everything it's rattling. The coat hangers, hangers are rattling. Oh my God, it's so rough. I mean, I know it's probably, if, like we want to do Norway next year, yeah. that's probably going to be just as bad, isn't yeah. it? I think I need stronger, I think you can get stronger travel sickness stuff from the doctors on prescription. I may have to invest in that. <laughs> just the noise, like the, the coat hangers rattling and the thing, it's so, oh my God. Yeah, I don't want to like disguise the fact that, 
Yeah, oh, everything's wonderful on cruising. <laughs> I mean, look! <laughs> I can't even keep my hands still. It's rocking that much. How are you not feeling this? I feel it. Just How is it not making you sick? Oh, it is so bad. But anyway, we're going to end this one here. We, we will catch you in the morning. Hopefully, I will look less... Uh, to be fair, I don't look very green because of my red face. Yes. So it's okay. I'm more burnt than green. But yeah, hopefully I will have survived the night. I will have gotten some sleep. And we will catch you in the morning. Have a magical day, guys. Bye. Responsibilities. Disney Vacation Club is about enjoying the trip. Not just the trip, but the experience. So I've just decided to go and get some fresh air. Because I feel a bit poo, obviously. And I've come out and all the um, emergency lighting's on. I'm like, should I be concerned? What is going on? <laughs> like they're all on everywhere. I'm scared. <laughs>